Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Riley from Tactical Edge, and today we're here with the new line of Wells uh, blasters. Today I have the metal one and the nylon one. We're going to be going through the differences of, of uh, both between them. Um, the nylon one is exactly the same as this, but nylon, um, but we're mainly going to be focusing on the differences between the two gearboxes. So I'm going to be showing you how to pull apart the metal one. It's exactly the same for the nylon one and then comparing the two gearboxes and looking at them. Um, so let's get into it. metal receiver is the metal one has screws on the back of these pins but the nylon one is just pins um, it's really good quality metal too nice and sturdy and heavy and i really like the handguard and the design with the little finger grooves they're pretty cool too so we'll just take off this slide cool t-piece Oh. So we have that. Let's put that aside. All right, guys. So we're just gonna um, take out the back receiver screw. Pop that out like so. Take the stock off. And then, um, as you guys should know by now, there's a bolt and screw on there, so I'm just gonna get that off camera. So it's got an unbranded, marked, unmarked uh, motor, but it's a Wells. Cool, and then undo the motor grip. There's only two screws in here. Cool, I'll just take this out. Receiver is very nice. It's nice and um, thick. It's not. It's not thin or cheap. It's like good quality. Cool. Okay. So, is the nylon gearbox I've had prepped earlier? So that's the two of them side by side. Um, so there are some differences. Um, what I notice is the mag terminals. So the mag terminals are on the bottom and they are wired on and screwed onto the side. And the nylon one is on the bottom but it has no um, mounting for it. But the screw is still there. So you guys can see that. Um, the nylon one has bigger bearings and the metal one has smaller bearings um sorry for that side so yeah so just that wire for the mag terminals on the top now kind of like the clear wells um so you got one bevel gear metal bearing and then the sector and spur bevel uh, bearing uh, nylon, made of nylon. 
I will, the, the metal one is all metal. Cool. Well, let's open them side by side. But the, um, the weight difference, crazy. Nylon one's a lot lighter. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So I'll open both of them at the same time and compare both of them at the same time. So I got my calipers here, and that is a 1.4. So the metal gearbox has a 1.4 spring. So the nylon spring is a 1.2, I would say. No. 115. So it's okay. It's okay. Uh, metal ones. Of course, better. Okay, that's the inside of the nylon one. So, differences are the mag terminal straight away. So, the metal one is just a plate onto the gearbox and it's just widened through the, uh, the wiring loom. Where the nylon one is more of the original style Wells gearbox, the clear one. So, it has one connected onto the front and the positives connected through this little brass uh, tab and that goes through the trigger block itself so it's built in. Um, pistons are of course different because one has to work with metal gears and one has to work with nylon. Cylinder head and cylinder and nozzle um, are identical. The um, type of plate's the same. Trigger's different. Um, that is a metal trigger in the nylon one. Of course, metal and metal. Um, still silver wiring. Other thing is a metal gearbox has a mini Tamiya and a nylon gearbox has a JST. So that is also different. Besides that guys, that's pretty much it. One of them here, I'll measure the bushings or bearings. So these are bushings and these are so these are six mil bushings for the metal one for the nylon one I'm gonna say like seven yeah so it's seven mil uh, bushings as well. So one six one seven. 
that's pretty much it guys for upgrades i mean i'd keep the cylinder head and nozzle all the same i'd probably just put a green airing in for the metal one you probably wouldn't want to change the spring i mean it's already 1.4 so it'd be hitting pretty high fps um you can put a mosfet in if you want that is completely up to you optional uh, of course bigger gears uh sorry gears you can always put different ratio completely up to you um barrel though um that, that's a problem some people don't quite know about so the barrel being uh brass it's its own certain diameter so i would definitely recommend a stainless steel barrel but the thing is is the wells barrel can only fit in its outer barrel because of its diameter so if i wanted to put a stainless steel one in it's a bigger diameter than what this one is so that means i would have to drill out the whole outer barrel to make it fit or replace it with a different one that will fit so just letting you know if you do want to change the barrel you're either going to have to drill it in here or replace the outer barrel. So what we've been doing is if it's like a CQB one, we just drill it because we have drill bits long enough. Or if it's a long one like this, we have to lathe the inner barrel down of the stainless steel to actually fit in the well's outer barrel. But once it does fit, guys, it, it is really good and it does really up the FPS. So just letting you guys know if you do want to change it, you're going to have to do one of those three things. Um, that's pretty much it guys for the gearboxes and the differences. Um, so let's put it all back together. gearboxes all back together um, so I'm just gonna put the nylon one aside because I had that prepared earlier and now we can put the metal gearbox metal one back together
Oh, that pins in there. If you guys are wondering why it's a bit scuffed up, it's yeah, because um, whoever made it really talked on the screws, and um, I needed to use vice grips to get it off. Um, so just be wary of that, guys. If you are trying to get it off, the back one it may be a bit uh, tighter than usual. It may need a bit of force. Cool. Put that on. So putting the top slide back on the wells, you want to put the T-piece in first. Pushing the nozzle back. Bit tricky. Push that back. While pushing the slide on. And goes on like that. Like so. Put that screw in. Alright, there you have it, guys. That is the Metal Wells teardown. And that is the differences between the nylon and metal wells gearbox. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video. Please leave a comment and like down below and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And um, tell me what you guys would like to see in another tech talk. And um, if I have time, I may get onto it and we can do some from one of you guys' comments. Um, see you guys in the next video. Bye.